but you know, Roy having range would definitely help here. There's definitely gonna be a little bit of cheese with Greninja up and Roy recovery for sure. Ooh, I would I would kinda like to see Coronet go for those, yeah. Okay, lands the back air, gets the jab tech miss tech. Missed the up smash punish, but still keeping it mm -hmm. an advantage. Coronet kind of keeping really good stage control, like right, right now. Um, yeah, I feel like he expects Roy to swing in disadvantage, so he's just giving him his space, not trying to push it too hard, just waiting for that hitbox to come out so he can whiff. Yeah, and Roy does, definitely has the tools to swing in disadvantage. For sure. Um, but it's just kind of like, when is the right moment? When is the right opening? Ooh, gets the strong hit of up air into Nair for 33%. Uh, nice fair to get off stage. A B to beat out the fair. Okay, jab into Nair. Jimna brought this back like pretty quickly. Yeah, very impressive from him. Ooh. I wonder if that was supposed to be Bear, because that would have definitely killed. Ah, maybe. Misses the two-frame there, gets the upbeat. Is that going to be the stock? Not quite take it. That is the, wow, good call out on that uh, landing. Mm -hmm. Caught him getting impatient. Yeah, got a little bit antsy in the air, Coronet. They're really all about the CQC <laughs> here. This is a little scary. Oh, there it is. The Nair is going to take it. <laughs> Very interesting hitbox. I, I, he DI'd it up, which I don't know. Ooh. Nah, I thought I was going to take, it, take the stock. All right, gets back to ledge safe, safely, and it's kind of reversed now. Oh, never mind. Gets the F tilt. I really like how Jimnub's going just slightly past ledge because he knows Ryan is sitting there just to hit him with the B. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Indeed. Oh, gets the drag down, but no conversion off of it. Gets the jab here up to 45% on Jimnub. Up air juggles. Yep. We get a couple. A another one. Ooh, great air dodge from Jimnub. Yeah, that was a good reversal. Ryan, or Cornet, fiddling with his music, trying to find the song, just not finding <laughs> it. I feel like you should be fine on the stream setup with the volume being so high up here now. I mean, I guess, but I don't know what he's doing. Still keeping it very competitive, though. Still in it. Yeah, 34% is not a bad deficit. Oh, you're at 56 now. He fared twice to get out of and the corner, and it worked for him. He literally just evened this up with yeah. three hits. <laughs> Two interactions. That's all it needs. Mm -hmm. Good uh, good way from Cornet. All right. Okay. I like he didn't overextend that time. And that was a really good moment to continue the uh, the up air juggles. All right. Ooh. I actually like that. He held down so the hitbox would hit. Seeing the down tilt come out from Cornet. Grab. Very risky back here. I think it would have been better just to throw him off stage, but you know, I'm. I wonder if Jinnub had a call out specifically for that throw. Great air dodge from Coronet. Mm -hmm. That was life saving. You gotta watch out for that side B. <laughs> That's dangerous percent we're working with here. Misses the. Yeah. Yup, that really was a very risky good risky Wow. I right. didn't even think that would have killed if it hit. Uh, yeah, he was only at 107, right? So yeah. like, it would be close, and like maybe enough disadvantage for him to capitalize on but yeah no but that was very risky all right where are we gonna go for game two town look am I? oh yoshi's okay i imagine he definitely banned town and smashville probably just so he doesn't get cheesed by that side but even though jim Dub didn't use much of it that game he just whipped it out at the end a little bit mm -hmm. Or just like w avoiding like the big meaty smash attacks too. Like you yeah. get hit one of those at ledge and you're early stocks. Yep. Um, but this is not a bad pick for Roy either. Yeah, for sure. Actually, both of these characters might benefit off at this stage, but it depends on how the slants interactions go. I think Cornet as a player isn't a huge fan of this stage, but we'll see. He seems comfortable so far. He's got the advantage here. Nope. 
Ooh, gets the side B off. Complete reversal of what we just saw yeah. for the past 10 seconds here. All right, forward throw. Good option coverage there. Oh, yep. That is going to take yeah, it, yep. yep. That's what we were just talking about with the yeah. early stocks. With side B, you got to respect those. That first hit is so deceptively long. <laughs> Roy's, yeah, for yeah. sure. Ooh, not going to quite get the edge guard there. Ooh, nice down tilt. This is looking like a really good counter pick for Jim Nub. He's got most of the control in this game. Yeah, this is a great stage pick for him. It's paying off really well. All right. All right, gets the tech. Nicely done, but I... Ooh, gets the down version of the dancing blade that was actually pretty good recognition because he realized i'm definitely not getting the sweet spot of this i'll just take my damage and cut I, off i thought that was the sweet spot but no i meant for like the normal side b mm -hmm. that would have killed mm -hmm. yeah i guess it covered that option for sure yeah all right fair to take the stock yeah another risky uppy out from jimna taking two stocks now is that gonna kill off the top no not quite yet at that percent yeah, I'm thinking like either here or like in the 140s is probably going to kill. For sure. I think what Coronet needs to do here is to like really be solid when he's in the lead situation against uh, Jim Nub. Oh, that is scary. Oh, that was a that was an F tilt from Jim Nub. For but sure. Oh, gets the drag down. Not going to quite continue. Uh, up throw? Yeah. That is gonna kill, wow. Ryan kind of shaking his head, doesn't think it was supposed to kill, but... It's still Yoshi's. In it, for sure. yeah. yeah. It is Yoshi's. Alright. Gets the rapid jab. All right, he did... Oh, unfortunate. He got the miss tech on the platform. <laughs> Jim now capitalized that on that big. Yeah, that was huge damage. Nice punish on the spot dodge. Jim not Cornet overextending a bit too. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Cornet getting a little antsy with that F smash. De mm -hmm. Desperately wants to take the stock. Oh. No way. Yeah. All right, that's it. gonna take it. This could look a lot different depending on a uh, stage slide. I I think stage is definitely one of the huge factors in this matchup for sure. That definitely paid off for Jim Nub though. That side view was. Scary on that. That was mid stage at like a hundred. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. He had a little bit of rage there too. Yeah, that so, is true. So that definitely added to the to the kill power. And he seems super comfortable on that stage. The the movement like just in center stage in general was looking really clean from Jim Nub. For sure. Probably a comfort pick. Small battlefield probably a smart pick. I'm not sure about small battlefield's blast zones, but is it a larger stage? Do you know? It's a bit larger than Yoshi's for sure. Yeah. Um, where did they start game one on? They started PS2. game one on PS2. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit of a more neutral pick, I would say. Um, just so that Roy doesn't have all of the kill power here. For sure. Landing two strong up airs and a third weak one from Jim Nub. Really good start. Also, ooh, ooh. this is scary. Yeah. That was just far enough for Jim to Where is your recovery to just not miss it. Uh, looking too great there? Great early stock from Coronet. He really needed that after seeing how dominant game two was in Jim Nub's favor. For sure. Ooh, nice back nice air. Nice back air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when it's an edge guard back air, that's more hype. For sure. Roy right Uppy out of shields. Very underrated option. It must be fast because he's he's using it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It definitely does a lot of damage, but yeah, I don't think um, Greninja has a lot to do against that either. I don't think the normals are fast enough. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, looking pretty even here. Coronet with the ledge advantage. Oh, oh we're back in neutral here. Gets the jab off. Wow. He just the stood patience. there, waited for the up B to just... <laughs> and waited for Jin up to land, gets the up smash for the kill. 
That's crazy. That might cost Jim Nub to set there. Because you've seen the mileage he was getting off of those upbees, like in previous games, but you can't be doing the same options over and over. Like, eventually, your opponent will find the counterplay. For sure. He's probably going to be afraid to use it from now on. Ooh, gets the F tilt Jab for the stock. Take in the last stock situation, game three. Not a lot of percent to make up here for Jim Nub. Okay. Ooh, nice raw back air there. Nice quick recovery from Jim Nub, avoiding the hydro pump shenanigans. Very scary stuff. Corona kind of dancing around Jenna pretty pretty well in these tight spots. All right, gets the forward throw. Not going to quite get the fair. Down throw into bear. Oh, yeah, that was very that's... well played by Coronet. Good stuff. That was a, de a very demanding last stock. Mm -hmm. Good adaptation. Greninja looking real good. Love mm -hmm. to see it. Let's go. All right.